And here we get more of my uh, really interesting interview with uh, Debo, the uh, very experienced uh, Australian here in uh, Thailand. And in, and in Noy's case, it's the same as Fawn's. All her relatives are the next home, the next home, the next home. Uh, yeah, I mean, they, they're they, so close. Yeah. They're together hour by hour. That's how ties do it. Um, I remember asking Fawn, because, you know, my, you, you know, my, my mm. wife Fawn, of course, they're good friends. They go way back. He knows Fawn way longer than I have, because when he was dating and then married uh, Noy, Fawn came along on a lot of their trips because she's the best friend. So she's like, Fawn is like Noy's little sister. And um, just, uh, I, I asked uh, uh, Fawn about a piece of land, they have, the piece of land they have at mm. the lake across the yep. street. I said, well, could we build a house on that lake? And Fawn goes, oh, no, that's way too far away from my parents. Mm -hmm. And I go, well, how far is it? She goes, Oh, maybe half a kilometer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can't live half a kilometer from her parents' yeah. house. That's way too far away. You know, where we would be like, that's way too close. I mean, you know, you, I would never want to live next to any of my family that yeah. close, my so God. Me and Noe, we got the block of land on the back of her uh, family's home. So, neighbors, we'd be neighbors. Mm. Let's talk about um, village gossip and Thai gossip and stuff, because you said something that was really interesting, uh, Devo. It was very interesting, honestly. Um, I was having a little trouble when I first came here shortly after. Um, I uh, had, a, had a serious heart-to-heart uh, -heart deep talk with Fawn, kind of checking in on things, looking at kind of, you know, looking at things, making sure things were okay. And it, what, one, of the, one of the things that came out of that was that some of her relatives on the street were saying some really kind of mean things about me um, and I didn't have the cultural experience to know to I should have expected that of mm. course but I didn't know why would people be saying mean things to me when I'm there helping Fawn helping Fawn's parents helping Fawn's two boys I'm I'm helping I'm there I'm just all I'm doing is giving resources knowledge education money there's nothing negative and and yet I was getting this 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 uh, put doom this negative gossip, and and can you can you enlighten our viewers as to why you think that happens sometimes? I think uh, they they just jealous because um, you know like uh, they they think we we're, we're all rich, um, yeah. Because what what Ty earns in, in a day, uh, what probably ten dollars US, yes. if they're lucky, yes, uh, we make that in probably half an hour. Yes. You know? Yes. Um, and they think we're loaded with cash. We're like a walking ATM machine. Yeah. And um, I think um, I think it's just sort of jealous because uh, we can go there, live a have a great time, um, and um, they can't afford to do that. You know, I think it's uh, easy for us here, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Here, here, but, but here, here we are. Now you have a very good job back home, and so I can, I, I understand how how your life would be expected to be good here. And here, in my case, back home, I am now. I used to be successful. Yeah. <laughs> I used to be, but now I'm kind of a poorer guy. And as the regular viewers of this channel know, and but here, I'm not poor. Here, I'm actually quite wealthy. Yeah, quite wealthy. Not just a little bit wealthy. I'm very wealthy here. And, and I don't have to work for it. I sit around and drink my coffee, gourmet coffee at Rusty's Resort. We're right here by the pool side. I'll, I'll pan around later. And here we are, and this is what I do every day. And this is so easy for me and yeah. you. And I guess we can understand them being uh, a little jealous about that. I, I get asked all the time, oh, Rich Farang, Rich Farang. I said, <gasps> I said, I said no, Rich Farang. I said, uh, I, I have to work all year to have this holiday here. Yeah. I, I have to save, you know. I said, uh, yeah, Australia is one of the highest paid uh, countries in the world, but we pay highest prices for most things. It's very, very expensive there. Yeah, very, very expensive. expensive. And, and, and I know uh, Davo here is going to be too modest to say anything, but he does work extremely hard. Uh, his company went through a major transition, I'll just say, uh, uh, just a, within the last two years. And in that time, De Devo survived that and actually is thriving uh, after that. And that did not happen for everyone. And, uh, you know, and then, and then you work like a dog, like basically yeah. 11 months out of the year and you get your yeah. month here. That's yeah. pretty people, much what you're doing, people, isn't it? People, you come here, people think you're rich. It's not rich, it's just uh, I, I saved hard. Um, 
I make make a lot of sacrifices. I don't go out in, in drinking and that back home. No, you don't. You're not a big spender. No. You're you're yeah. big and and really working. And then you yeah. make a lot of investments. You were yeah. saying you spend a lot of time managing that. You're, Dave, Dave was a very forward thinking. I can't wait to have him here. Uh, uh, it'll be a while till he retires. The downside of make having a good career is you don't want to quit it. You know. <laughs> no, I, take, plus I, I take care of my father. He's uh, hit ninety seven in, in May. So. Wow. Uh, I'm, the, I'm the only one there to, to look after him. So, mm. uh, yeah, so I, I, I can't I can't leave him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's my dad. Yeah, you know, yeah. I love my dad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm hoping yeah. for me and my boy have a relationship, continue our relationship yeah. like that. That's my dream. That's my big dream. And so back to this village gossip a little bit then. So what i found and you had a really interesting answer to that which helped me immensely uh but what i found is i was giving money and this and that and 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 david was been doing this kind of thing very helpful you can as you can imagine he's very helpful to noi and her entire family and 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 uh, if you watch the body language with them and him they love him uh, and it's a very positive dynamic which is nice to see for once here let me tell you uh, and then, but then, even though you're doing all that, even in your village, you've gotten some gossip because then it's like, well, why didn't you buy? And you have a guys have a very nice car, and you keep it in tip top shape, and Noi isn't taking advantage of you, so she hasn't asked for a brand new expensive car because she doesn't need one, and you haven't wanted to go buy one because the current car you have is uh, in really good shape and and it looks yeah. almost new, but it, I guess it, it it isn't. I don't care how old it is or not, but it it looks almost new. But you got some gossip, you said, because you didn't go and buy some brand new, like like the Toyota Fortuner is the one everybody wants. It's a seven-passenger SUV. They're a million and a half bot, million three bot, something like that. And it's the big. It's one of the big status symbol vehicles here. Yeah. It would be just a couple notches below, like having like a, a BMW or something. And and uh, you got some gossip because, well, how come you haven't bought one of those? <laughs> you know, didn't you? Yeah, uh, yeah, I just turned around and said, oh, you want me to buy one? Give me the money, I'll go buy one. <laughs> there you go yeah and, and 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 it's kind of like when in the u.s we have a saying if you give a mouse a cookie well now the mouse is going to want a glass of milk yeah. and then the mouse is going to want a bedtime story and then it, and, and, it, and it, of course this this goes on forever and it's the same thing here if you help a little bit the other outside people n maybe not directly benefiting they will maybe say something bad put doom the gossip mm. uh because they're jealous that one leg of the family is getting something and they're not getting yeah. something and that that uh that jealousy is a big thing in, in the culture here i see that a lot sometimes people think you got millions and millions of dollars sitting in your bank account you can just go out and buy car cash <laughs> yeah it's not like that yeah yeah especially some of the cars here are quite a bit more expensive than they are in other countries uh and i'm used to the u.s being an open market country where the price is the price we're here there's a up to a 300%, and I said that correctly, 300% added import tax on many vehicles here. So when you see a, a Mercedes or a BMW or something, that car in, in, in U.S. dollars is probably three, four, maybe 600,000 U.S. dollars. That's tens of millions of Thai baht. That, that person's a district leader or something. I mean, that, that's a... That's a political person. That that's not a wealthy but, guy. Uh, I know the secondhand cars he holy value. Yeah, you don't really get to save much by looking at a used car, do yeah. you? No. Yeah, really holy value. I was lucky with my motorcycle. I got it about thirty percent off of brand new, which is a slightly inflated price, but I got it thirty percent off of that at least. And it was only two years old with only a couple of thousand kilometers on it, so it's virtually new. But that was kinda lucky. After that, they don't go down much and and cars are much worse. Cars yeah. just are a tiny bit less than brand new for a used one and yeah, uh, yeah it's not a good uh you're you're kinda better off just buying new. Yeah. It's so funny. I don't know where all those used cars at that price are being sold. I don't understand that at all. Oh, when I go back to Australia, I, I always say to people there, if I can bring some second-hand cars from Australia to Thailand, I'll be a rich man. Yeah, they'll only you know? put a 30% import tariff. Oh, no, no, now it's 300. It's on all the old cars. It's 300 now, I think. It's 300. So, they, they'll kill, yeah, they'll kill you. They've, they've made that impossible. And they, they did that deliberately, I was told, to protect the car dealers here. Yeah. So, the car dealers get a, a real good monopoly, essentially. So, 
when you see a Lamborghini here, though, you know that someone paid several million US for that. Now those walls in Karat, mm. they got special parking for these luxury cars. It could be Terminal mm. 21 or Central Plaza. Mm. Mm. You see them all down there, all the Lamborghinis and Ferraris. I'm going to have to look for that, and I'll mm. ask Fawn. Fawn will know yeah. where that is. That's interesting. Yeah, when we go to the most expensive hotel in Colad is the Cantoree. And uh, they have actually, ironically, have a Chinese restaurant on the top yeah. that's quite good. And it's actually not that expensive, which is so weird. Yeah. You go in this megabuck hotel, there's, every time I'm there, there's at least one Lamborghini parked out front and then a high-end Mercedes. And I mean, these are elite yeah. people, as we've just talked. And I'll go up to the top and go to the Cantory uh, restaurant, and it's like reasonably priced. And it's, we got to go, and it's really good. It's uh, all like egg rolls and stuff. And yeah. it's, it's just tasty. It's just really tasty. Yeah, and the service, of course, is incredible. You can't beat the food here in Thailand. Oh, gosh, it's so incredible. It's, a, it's amazing. I'm getting, getting, getting my mouth, but uh, uh, stretching now. <laughs> yeah, well, well, we, and we just had our Kai Gata. Gata is tiny plate, and, and Kai is uh, uh, egg. Uh, we just had our, our which is a, was a hot plate. Uh, well, excuse me, I just bumped the table in the camera. It's a hot plate, like small, like this, and it's got two eggs and some meat cut up and stuff in it. And then they were, we all three, me, you, and Noy, all had one. We brought them to go and brought them here at Rusty's out front, sat on the front porch. And had good coffee here at Rusty's. And then, and then had our gourmet coffee, which was killer. Yeah. Oh, it's always really, really good. And the service, it's always those same two ladies here. They're always really, really JD, really good service. Aussie owned. This is Aussie owned. Rusty is a very nice guy, an Aussie. I don't hold that against him. <laughs> I so, haven't met him yet. You'll have to. Um, he might be... I have to ask when he's coming back. He is due to come back soon. You, you, you're you either going to just catch him or dismiss him. He's, he's due to come back. Okay, so you love the weather and the food. Obviously, you get to spend a lot of good quality time with your wife. Now, her her I know her mom really loves you. And I know her dad really loved you before he passed, sadly. And I'm sorry about yeah, that, by the way. I knew, I knew you, guys were, you guys were quite close, actually. Just before Christmas. Yeah, yeah. I, we were here for the service, of course. And that was, uh, I was sad for you. Mm. Uh, I, I, felt, I felt your pain. And then Noe, of course, was really sad. I was really sad for her. Um, and her little brother really loves you and all that. And she, you get, you probably get mobbed with attention and stuff when you come here, don't you? Oh, hey, her brother is, is, is such a good, good man. He's, all his friends become my friends. Oh, he includes me in everything. Um, when his friends are there, he makes sure I'm sitting with him. Always makes sure I've got a beer in front of me or or something, food. Hey, um, you know what? We got to do karaoke. Yes, we, we got to do karaoke because Fawn. I'm terrible, but Fawn is, as you know, a really good singer. We did karaoke last night. <laughs> we, do, we need to get Savon, Savon, yeah. and uh, Savon and Fawn and me. We all got to come over yeah. with. Uh, Oh, Nong Chai, awesome. Nong Chai's little brother, Nong Chai and friends and stuff. We got to do some karaoke. Maybe yeah. when you get back from Bangkok. We have a barbecue. Mm. Yes. Well, this plan practically writes itself. Yep. I can't sing, but I still get up and have a go. Yeah, I like to, I like to duet with Fawn because her voice is pretty, and I'll just keep my volume down a little bit, and I enjoy doing it, and I enjoy letting everybody laugh at me because I'm terrible, but um, I, I just love having the activity with Fawn, and, and her voice is so pretty. I love hearing The it. good thing about uh, Farang doing karaoke is, because uh, most Thais um, don't understand English, uh, if you forget the words, you can make up the words, and they, they don't know that you change oh. the words. <laughs> it happens quite often with me. I forget the lines, so I just make up the lines. Oh. And, and, um, yeah, they have no idea. See, more uh, top social tips here on Reset with Rob, uh, the channel here. Devo telling us how to do karaoke. That's a good, that's a good tip. Yeah, the one thing I, I, I don't like about Thailand is the, the mosquitoes. I'm always getting bitten. They seem to prefer us foreigners because I'll be with Fawn's family a million times and they're not getting bitten. I'm getting cleaned out. I, I swear, when one mosquito bites me, he goes back and tells his mate, he said, look, I've had a good, good drinking hole. Yeah. A new, a new bar. Yeah, and, and they don't allow the DEET, which is the real strong active ingredient in uh, mosquito repellent. They don't allow yeah. the DEET. seems to be illegal here. They've got that crushed plant stuff, which yeah. doesn't, doesn't work with the dinghy for all the mosquitoes they got here, the uh, nuclear ones they got in Thailand. And, yeah, I don't want malaria, and I don't want dengue fever either, last I checked. So, I, yeah, I, I, I definitely... Um, Fun kind of doesn't want to do it because she wants to put all the money into the new house that we'll eventually build, but... I kind of want to put a screen porch on the front of our little apartment and just, you know, and then rent it as a premium apartment later to somebody. Yeah. But 
she doesn't really kind of want to do that. I think that's got to do with saving face. Yeah. You know, looking good to the family. And if she sees me fixing up the apartment, then they'll be thinking, oh, maybe he's not going to build her house. Oh, you know, and then they'll start with the with the gossip again and all the negative stuff again. So, I will tell you, I can't say who because people watch this channel, but uh, locals. But uh, one somebody close to fun was. Uh, had been rude to me kind of consistently for a while, and I was getting back to the the gossip of people being jealous stuff. It was from that. And I was getting just kind of tired of her always being rude, and then her kids were, were not rude, but they were really not respecting me at all. If you want to call that rude, that's fine, but they wouldn't sawadee me properly. They wouldn't address me properly. They would just call me by my first name and, and, and not not why not give not why me or anything, and and. And finally, I call. We're at lunch together one time. Me, Fawn, and some of her friends, and, and the one lady sitting right across from me, and she's doing some of that crap again. And I got up from my chair about halfway, and you're not supposed to point. I pointed yeah. right, and I said, "Stop that!" Like right, you know. And she, and has and she's been nice ever since. <laughs> it's been it was a month ago, and she's been a, a peach. And and I told her, I said, you know, Sajai Kuhn, care about you. You're in my heart, Sajai. I can help you, but you have got to be polite. You know, cost to pop. I need polite. And she got it. And her kids saw that. I dressed her down in front of her kids a little bit, which I didn't necessarily mean to, but not that she didn't deserve it. But funny thing, though, she's been a peach ever since. She's yeah, cool. been really nice. Yeah. I, uh, that's kind of what I've learned here to me, Dave. I think I'm not maybe quite as jidey as you are. I, I'll... Uh, I'll put up with a couple of little knocks, and after a bit, I'll push back, and I'll say, nah, I'm done with that. And I, it's just, and that's just how I do it, I guess. And I'm not saying it's the right way necessarily. I just let it go in one ear, out the other. Yeah. You know, a good thing, uh, not knowing too much Thai. Mm. Is that you don't understand it. Uh, you don't have to worry about anything. Uh, <laughs> what they're what, saying. <laughs> like, oh, like last night when I caught the conversation, what Fun was saying. Well, you, you, I probably made you. I probably owe you an apology. I probably made you a little uncomfortable for a minute. I hope I didn't. No. Okay. All right. I got, did I, did I get, I can't, you can never see yourself. Did I get very angry or was I not too bad? Oh, no, you're all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, we always get great content with Dave. Oh, this has gone on super long. I'll see if uh, YouTube will let me load up a video of this size. And here's the bonus footage. Okay, take your first Jack and Coke. Tell me if you like. I'm all right. <laughs> Jing Jingmai. Really? Yeah. I know, believe. Yeah, I, I feel me need a young. Ding. <laughs> I'm all out. No. Thank you for supporting my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.